This is the Ruminoid spin-off, but then with an open back. Just tear down the back cylinders because the well, you have some peaks and dips if you use it like a ruinoid, or you have to damp the inside. But it's still not working as as I would like. And um, well, this way you can keep the coil uh, lighter as well. But stability is an issue. But and the metal was an issue because my gap is now. Uh, it's hard to see. It's like four millimeters, but it was like three, and my all my metal and um, bended to each other. <laughs> so the magnets are pretty strong, and a three millimeter gap is, well, too little, apparently. But it's no problem because uh, I can use the extra one millimeter space to better center the coil, so that's nice. Although you lose some output, but still, it's quite. It matches the woofer, and uh, well, it's open baffle as well. It's a little bit higher uh, efficiency, I think, the the mid and high frequency. Well, I crossed this at three fifty with a twelve dB slope, and I uh, gained. I had a low shelf on the rubinoid as well as a high shelf to match the efficiency of the woofer so from the mid frequencies from 500 till 20k the rubinoid is 7 dB down and from 450 I think it was plus gain of 3 or 4 because um, there is no baffle as you can see, so if you put a baffle on it, uh, you will gain about 3 dB from 500 Hz and down. So this is the ma most inefficient method to use it without a baffle, but for now it will do. Let's play a song. Normally weird resonances you will notice on this track immediately so Dispersion is good as well, at least horizontal dispersion is good. So if you sit like here, it's kind of the same as here or whatever. Uh, vertical dispersion is of course uh, not that great, because, well, it's the size that makes it a little bit beamy. But that's okay. I'd rather have a good horizontal dispersion instead of uh, vertical. Because usually you sit down and uh, also you don't, don't have as much reflections from the ceiling and stuff. So that's good. So quite pleased. Still a, a prototype membrane of A4 paper, 80 grams. Uh, tried printing on it to make it a little bit heavier in the, in the middle section with like a solid ink printer. But doesn't do much except crippled the high frequency so I'm not gonna do it next time well that's about it <laughs> 